What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Make Stuff Better. Today, we're working on the Revo. So this is what we're doing. Basically, we broke the diff. Um, so these are the diff parts that we are working on. Everything here is still good. These are the parts that broke. So this is one of your diff gears. This is the other one. And these are all the teeth that broke off it. Um, this is the result of landing your Revo or most any high powered vehicle under load. And then this is the kit that I'm putting in it. It is 5382X. This is also the same kit for the Emax. Maybe the T Max too. But the E-Revo 2.0 actually has different um, diff gears. They're probably bigger and more rugged. As you can see, we've got some gears, gear teeth, still in the diff case. So we're going to clean this all out. And then we'll be back with you once I get this all cleaned out. Hopefully the teeth are relatively big things. I don't have a lot of tiny pieces in here I have to dig out individually. Just big ones like that. And while we're here... No, it's stuck on the back side of my finger. There we go. Um, these are the pieces that broke, basically that and these two gears. But when you get the kit, it comes with a new pin, a new carrier, two carrier gears, and the two output gears. So I'm going to replace all of those pieces, and I'll keep this and these two, just in case you break, like, just the pin or just one of these. you got something to replace it with, but this way, by replacing them all, you have um, good gear mesh, because these might be worn a little bit, and if you put old new gears with old gears, you might end up with too much space. So we'll just replace it all. So there's the diff all put back together. There's a seal on the end of your output shafts, each side, um, inside the diff case itself. Not This is like the diff housing, and then inside that there's a differential. So this houses your pinion and ring gear. And then there's another housing, which I showed you earlier, pulling the, um, the teeth out of. So you wanna make sure those are in place. And then we're gonna get that put into the bulkhead. And the bulkhead, onto the car and that orientation. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, but this has an upside, this up, and it even says it's for the Revo. That's amazing. So that side goes up, and it'll sit in there, kind of like that. When putting this back together, it's easiest if you do one side of the bulkhead in, you can then add this, the, um, grub screw for your drive shaft and then you can just slide the other piece in here and they'll go together quite nicely I just have to seat it properly there we go and there's a tiny little screw that goes in this side Right there. Holds those two halves together, and the front half is held together by the main part of the chassis. We now have our drive shaft cover in place. I'm going to install the arms next. These guys right here. And we've got the pins for that. So we've got long pins. They go all the way through, and then we've got two sets of short pins. The long pins, I think, go up here, and the short pins go in here and here. All right, there we've got the arms on. I've got our steering lengths, uh, toe adjusting lengths on. It's the rear end, so not really steering, but adjust your toe. This piece is actually broken. There's supposed to be more on the end here. We got these little ends here 
that fit over top of your pins to keep them in. And that goes on, and they're supposed, this is supposed to extend out to cover these two pins and keep them in. So I need to order another one of those. Get some screws in that. Be there. This is our uh, wing mount. Oh, kind of close. It's hard to see what's going on. Just digging through the parts for the Revo. Turns out I do have a rear skid plate for it, which is this piece right here. I won't be in risk of losing those pins. And just like that, I'll take this piece out, place it with a new one. Yep, I think those. Go ahead, make yourself at home. Perfect. Just get the screws back in, and it's done. All right, everything underneath is all done. I just have these long screws which go in through your shock ends, and those actually go all the way down through and thread into the bulkhead from underneath, so they hold like everything together in the front of this bulkhead area. So that'll go in there. I've got the other shock here. It'll go in there, and then they each sit into each of these holes. Got all these connected. And we just have the wing mount to go on here, and it actually just slides in like that. And then these three screws will lock it in place. There we go. It's all put back together. Works great. It's actually not crunching gears anymore. And this is the broken parts.